try to twist it. You're married. I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> the most famous district of the City of Angels, called Hollywood, attracts the attention of the whole world. The place of luxury and pathos, where even the air is saturated with glamour and the glow of spotlights and neon signs makes your eyes water. Well, who hasn't dreamed of being there? But amidst the noisy balls, fashion shows and movies, somewhere in the sizzling celebration of life, there are sometimes events that overshadow the big picture. Let's take a look back at 10 of the biggest scandals of old Hollywood. Number 10, Natalie Wood. The famous actress was born into a family of Russian immigrants. She played her first role at the age of four and soon became a successful child actress. As a minor, she starred in the movie Rebel Without a Cause with Kirk Douglas and a few years later accused him of rape. The court did not confirm her words, but thanks to an investigation, it turned out that the 16-year-old actress had an intimate relationship with Nicholas Ray who was 28 years older than her. Later, her marriage to Robert Wagner was plagued by scandal. During a last yacht trip with her husband and some friends, she tragically drowned. At first, Wagner was suspected of murder, but the case was later reclassified as accidental drowning. Number nine, Marilyn Monroe. Norma Jean Mortensen, better known to the world as Marilyn Monroe, began her journey to worldwide fame as a pinup model in 1945. A year later, she divorced her first husband, who disapproved of her career. In 1948, she signed a contract with Columbia Pictures. The head of the studio was Joseph Schenck, who had an affair with Monroe. That same year, during the filming of Ladies of the Chorus, Marilyn had an affair with vocal coach Fred Carter, who paid for her to have her bite corrected. She soon developed a close relationship with Johnny Hyde, vice president of the Actors Agency. He paid for her jaw surgery and rhinoplasty. Then her career took off. She is said to have had an affair with John and Robert Kennedy, whom she met in 1961. By this time, she had developed obvious mental problems and a drug addiction. Number eight, Lana Turner. Lana Turner, real name Julia Jean Turner, was a sex symbol of the 40s and 50s and one of the highest paid actresses. In 1957, Lana was in a relationship with Johnny Stompanato, who was the right-hand man of Mafia boss Mickey Cohen. Relations were not smooth, constant quarrels and fights, plus indomitable jealousy Johnny, which led to the fact that Stompanato pointed a gun at John Connery during the shooting of the film, Another Time, Another Place. During another scandal with a beating for the actress, stood up for her only daughter Cheryl, born by actor Stephen Crane. In a rage, she attacked the perpetrator and killed him with a knife. The court acquitted the 15-year-old girl, considering her actions as self-defense. Number seven, Elizabeth Taylor. Such a status of actress Elizabeth Taylor was awarded due to a large number of novels, seven of which led to marriage. Often love affairs actress led to scandals. For example, she had an affair with Richard Burton during the creation of the film Cleopatra, which provoked a huge outrage on the set. Marlena Dietrich, once called Taylor a whore with a big bust, for the fact that Elizabeth stole her second husband, Michael Wilding. Number six, Charlie Chaplin, a memorable image of a tramp and a huge contribution to the development of cinema. Not all that is remembered by the descendants of the great Charlie Chaplin. He was officially married four times and managed to become a father as many as 12 times. True, three of his future wives were minors at the time of acquaintance. The oldest was barely 16, the youngest, Lita Gray, only 12. But this did not stop the actor. After several unsuccessful attempts, he took the virginity of the young actress who starred in his movie The Kid and invited her to his party. The public did not condemn the actor, and the parents of potential wives saw him as an excellent party for daughters and also did not resist the successfully formed romance. Literary scholars believe that it was Chaplin who became the prototype for Humbert in Nabokov's Lolita. Number five, Errol Flynn. The actor is called a sex symbol of the 30s and 40s of the last century, and we remember him for his roles in Captain Blood and the Adventures of Robin Hood. In life, he was not at all the good guy he was on screen. 
Flynn had a weakness for underage beauties, which led to several court cases. In the end, the jury acquitted him. Amusingly, this only increased his popularity, especially among women. Number four, Joan Crawford. This woman is now considered one of the most respected actresses in Hollywood, on a par with Marlena Dietrich and Greta Garbo. Joan began her journey to the big screen by performing in strip joints and cabarets, and then began starring in films that today would not hesitate to carry an R rating. At one point, the studio Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer spent a large sum of money to hide the existence of her adult films, because Joan was underage at the time they were made. Even when the girl became a star of the big movies, Hollywood was long full of stories about how she skillfully took the pants off the right men involved in serious projects. Her undying interest in strong drink and male chauvinism was reflected in the autobiographical book, Mommy Dearest, written by her adopted daughter, Christina Crawford. Number three, David Selznick, one of the most successful film producers of the times of old Hollywood, was not characterized by modesty in communication with actresses. Were the notorious Harvey Weinstein and his followers. Selznick personally warned them that the interview would, be, would begin only after the girl is completely undressed. It was during his work in the habit of movie stars appeared in the concept of producer's bunk, and later an R-rated movie of the same name was made. David kicked out of the office of those who disagreed with the rules, and loyal girls from the heart whipped with a whip and entered into intimate relations with them with elements of sadomasochism, calling it suffering in the name of art. Number two, Clark Gable. Clark Gable, notorious for both his charismatic acting and his reputation as a ladies' man, crossed paths with actress Loretta Young during the filming of Call of the Wild. Their encounter resulted in Young becoming pregnant at the age of 23. Despite being married to his first wife at the time, Gable denied paternity and showed no interest in acknowledging or meeting his daughter with Young. She kept the identity of her child's father a secret throughout her life, only revealing it in a memoir published posthumously. Additionally, Young later confessed that their relationship was not consensual. This scandalous tale is layered with intrigue and controversy. Number one, Fatty Arbuckle. The funny fat man Roscoe Arbuckle, affectionately called fat by his audience, made history by becoming Hollywood's first millionaire in 1919, thanks in part to an unflattering incident. After a party at the St. Francis Hotel to celebrate a major contract, the 26-year-old actress Virginia Rapp was found in a very bad condition. She died five days later. Roscoe Arbuckle was accused of but the jury acquitted him in the third trial. Virginia Rapp was known for her promiscuity and alcoholism. Be that as it may, after three trials, life and career comedian went under the radar. Films with his participation was removed from the rental, on new pictures did not call. Later followed two divorces, legal fees and fines of about $700,000. Fatty Arbuckle died of a heart attack in the night of June 29, 1933. That's all for today, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on our latest videos. See you next time.